Hi there. Um, I'm in the process of uh, putting together <clears throat> a toilet paper roll mini album for a swap that I've signed up for. And I thought it'd be interesting. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I know there's lots on uh, YouTube already on how to cover up your um, toilet paper rolls. Um, however, I actually tuck in the sides here so you get a nice neat finish on the paper. And I thought I'd uh, run through that today. Um, first of all, um, the size of your paper very much is determined by the size of your toilet roll. Um, mine are four and a quarter by two and three quarters. Uh, for the lengthways, um, you need to double this and add on half an inch, so that's six inches for me. And also here, you need the overlap either side, so I've actually made it five inches wide um, this way. So I've got six by five here. So to begin with, um, what you need to do is position your toilet roll. So your half inch is actually here, so you can overlap that. Um, I'm a fan of glossy accents. I know it's probably one of the more expensive ways of gluing things down, but it works. So, just pop this on. And as I say, you're leaving about half an inch at the top and as even as possible on the sides. So pretty much like that. Of course, the downside of glossy accents is it takes a few seconds for it to hold. Okay, so that's that. Next, what we're going to do is pull this edge over, press it as tightly as possible to the seam of the toilet roll cardboard, and make a crease there. And also do the same this side. So you're pulling that as tight as you can against the cardboard and then folding down. Now, assuming you've got this correct, what you end up with is quite a neat seam on that side. So just to glue that down now. Um, with the glossy accents, don't don't take the glue up to the edge because it spurts out. So if you take it a little way in, fold over and press and hold. There we go. And again for the remainder of this, all the way along. And again fold over and then press that down, trying not to get glossy accents all over the place. And there we go, what we've got there is a nice seam all folded in. Okay, the next stage obviously is the um, to pop in the sides. What I do here is you feel for the end of your, your toilet roll and just snip off the corner. Do that on all four corners. This just makes tucking it in a bit easier. There we go. Now what I like to do is actually pre-fold these in before I glue them just to get a nice seam on them. Um, very gently here, pop open and I'll try and do this for the camera. <laughs> Push in so it's tight on the top of the toilet paper roll and again push in. There we go, a nice 
seam, fold that in, do that the other side as well. So push against, so it's nice and tight against the cardboard. And again, and press all that down. And now, just a case, in turn, taking each of these out. Again, don't glue up to the edge. Pop that back in. Press down. in the corners and then press down and hold down for the glossy accents to grab and there we have so when you put your tags in you're actually not seeing the cardboard of the um, toilet roll again just do the other side in and the last side and press and hold and what you've got there is a nice neat covered toilet roll um, just to show you what I do with mine, um, I actually make um, some end pieces and this is just, um, it's the same width as the um, toilet paper roll, I've border punched each side and I've actually painted this just a white acrylic, uh, sorry white metallic acrylic, I will eventually glue that down there which will, it extends the page but what it also does once you've glued this in it provides a stopper for the tag and a place where I can put my wire. Well I hope this has helped in some way um, I'm sure there's lots of tutorials like this on YouTube um, I just thought you'd like to see the way that I do it. Thanks for watching.